Hello Kaiju fans of all kinds, I am back with another video, and it's my last October figure review, because today is Halloween, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Bandai Movie Monster Series, Shin Godzilla. This guy is from the 2016 film Shin Godzilla, and was released just last year, along with a few other Bandais. Basically, we're just going to get right into this with his detail. Well, actually, first, he has a tag. I'm not afraid of a tag. In the front, we have the poster that was released, where it's just like him sort of in a silhouette. And we have, I think that says Shin Godzilla right there. We have the 2016 logo. It says Godzilla 2016, Godzilla 2016, and a bunch of Japanese I can't read. Opening up inside the tag here, we've got a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Godzilla logo right there, and a silhouette of Shin Godzilla himself. Godzilla 2016, a bunch more stuff I can't read. Then on the back here, we have his silhouette of his spines. It says Shin Godzilla and Movie Monster Series. So that's about it for the tag. Tag's pretty cool. Like how they kept with that design, what they did with 2014, where they have a silhouette of the monster in there and they have the spines on the back. So yeah, tag's pretty cool, but let's get on to the figure himself. For the detail on this guy, it's good, but not as you've heard me talk about this before. I don't think the newer Bandai, starting from like the 2014 figures, the Bandai, the detail on the Bandai has sort of been a little bit, well, not as good as it used to be. And like, there's still definitely detail there. It's not ha really half-assed or anything, I'd say. But like, the detail's fine. It's just when you compare it to the figures from Final Wars, it's just not as good. But this figure does have good detail with the head there. The teeth are just sort of, they're sort of sculpted individually, but they still have the uh, line there, but they're sort of popping out a little bit. Go down here, we got his gills. Top spines on the head. Look great. Actually, the spines do look good. Going all the way down. Sort of went back to that normal, it sort of looks like Heisei, except he has multiple, he has way more rows. I think he has five. Then the front here, we got the little point on his chest. Got all the little, looks like, what they were trying to do, I think, was replicate the whole nuclear scarring look, like 54. Good, did a good job with that. Got the tiny little hands. Right down, like, it's around here, the detail is good, but it looks sort of not as, not as prominent, I guess you could say, a little bit more flat. Legs look good. Going on the feet, the feet are great, and I actually like how they painted, or they included the little tiny toes there. Like the NECA one did not do, but we will not speak of the NECA one here. Got the tail here. The tail does look great too when it comes to detail. Got the spines going up. Then we get the mess of a tail, which, you know, we got the whole face on there. The tail looks very bony. It just looks disgusting. So the detail on this guy isn't the best, but it's definitely pretty good. For a paint job, uh, this is another thing where the Bandai figures are starting to sort of lack now, but this guy does an okay job. In his eye, I guess we'll start with the eyes. It's interesting. His eyes have a like there there's a detailed pupil in the eyes, but they're not painted. The eyes are just white. So that was kind of odd. Then we have, we got the white teeth. Most of the body's the same gray going all the way down. Except for the parts right here, especially on the chest, we have the red. And on the back of the spines and on his back, just red. The feet have yellowish toenails, and they even painted the little baby tone. Oh wait, no, they didn't. I'm an idiot. No, they didn't. They didn't paint the little baby toenails. They're just sort of there. Would've been nice if they could. They could have painted those. And then all the way down the tail, same grayish until we get to the tip of the tail, where it's pretty much red and it's a mix of red and gray. So the paint job's pretty nice. Okay, for articulation, this guy has good articulation. Uh, pretty much standard Bandai again. His arms can go full 360 like that. His legs, I don't think they can... Okay, yeah, his legs can go a full 360. I don't know why you'd want them to go a full 360, though. So that's pretty good. And there's actually no other articulation other than the arms. The tail does not move. I mean, I guess you could break the glue seal if you wanted to, but I don't usually don't do that with band the vinyls. The head has no glue seal or anything, no articulation there. It's pretty much just sculpted like that. Articulation, standard Bandai. For size comparisons, here we have him compared next to the Bandai Godzilla 1954 and the Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla 2014. Shin Godzilla is the biggest form of Godzilla we've had so far, so it makes sense that he's actually a bit taller than 2014, I think. This is the perfect size for these two. Maybe Shin Godzilla might be a bit bigger, but I think this size is up well. 
for whatever reason, here he is compared next to the SH Mozart Special Color Version King Ghidorah and the Ultra 500 Zeton. Uh, as you can see, King Ghidorah does not even fit in the frame, so he's a lot bigger. And here we have him compared next to two figures I was going to originally review for my October reviews, but I just didn't have time. So, but here he's compared next to the Bandai Movie Monster Series Shin Godzilla Form A and Shin Godzilla Form B. Which, these all fit good together. I don't know if Shinagawa-kun, which is another name for Form B, would actually be as tall. I'm not entirely sure, because we never obviously see them together. But I think these size up very well. So that was my review on the Bandai Movie Monster Series Shin Godzilla. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys enjoyed this October reviews. Basically, I just tried to take sort of either scary-ish designs or just figures from horror movies like the Xenomorphs. And I really enjoy doing these uh, scary figures because Halloween is one of my favorite holidays ever. Behind Christmas, obviously. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a happy Halloween.